Hello everyone, welcome back, and today we're going to talk about the uh, basic user interface and uh, Gmail a little bit. So, the interface, um, unlike the uh, Android phone, doesn't have any uh, hard buttons. It's all in the software and on the screen. So you can see in the bottom left corner, we have three buttons. We have a back, which takes you back if you're in an application, you go back. If you're in a website, you go to previous page. It basically functions the same as the back button in the Android phone. And then there's the home, which functions exactly like the home in the Android phone as well. It will take you home. And then here's the interesting one. This is a quick switch application. And basically you press this, and you may have seen this in the prior video and wondered exactly what it is. And it pulls up the five past applications that you've run. Not only does it load them up, but it loads them up in their prior cache state. So wherever you left off in that application is where it will load it back up. So it's a very, very nice. It can be used at any point when you're using the Android. This toolbar will be um, down here. So you can just quickly go to um, your application. So let's go check out Gmail now. So this is the Gmail app. It's a very, very nice interface. So if you look closely to the left, it has your inbox, your priorities, sort of like the left side, and your web interface. But it's kind of a very nice way to touch through, look at all of your labels, all your start, all your important, and uh, cl you know you click on that, and it filters it out, just like you would expect in your uh, email client. Now. Once you select a mail, it slides over. Now all your messages are on the left side, and you can have a full read of the message just like you would in Gmail. So it's a very nice um, mail um, application. It does a very good job at transitioning, and uh, it definitely gives a better feeling um, than actually the, the one that you would get every day using the web client. Okay, now let's go back home, pressing the home button. And let's talk about a couple other things about the interface. On the top, right, there's the apps. You click on that, and then all your apps are listed, and you can cycle through them. Kind of does that um, blue border edges, so that's the applications that will be coming and showing up. It's little nifty feature and you know it just shows all your applications just like you would expect um, when you uh, press the application on your smartphone also um, you have the google search and the google voice at the top so you click that you can do a google search locally on your tablet or um, on the web as well and you can also use your voice to, um, to, instead of typing it in and then one other big thing is down here. So this is the notifications and kind of setting toolbar. So I really really like this because it kind of breaks out your your notifications so you can select an individual one and it will uh, tell you exactly what's going on and you can see you know in Groupon you've got a new Groupon you can see oh there's new news you can see little info on the weather what what music you're listening to so it's a really, really nice way um, to quickly get at your notifications, know exactly what they are, click on them, and get a little bit of additional information all at the bottom of your screen. Um, also, if you click on the time, it brings up all the notifications in a list, as well as the, the time and um, kind of uh, the settings toolbar. So if you click one more time, you get into the settings toolbar, and it's very basic. There's, of course, the extensive uh, settings panel, just like you s would see in the Android uh, smartphone. But this one, you can quickly turn on the Wi-Fi, um, turn into airplane mode, lock the screen into a certain orientation, adjust the brightness, put it on auto, and then turn on notifications or not. Okay. Well, this is a short video, but... Uh, I hope you uh, got a lot out of this and know a little bit more about the interface and um, will be more reviews on the application soon to come. Thank you.